In a world that endlessly beckons empathy and altruism, INFJs, often called the advocates or protectors, carry a unique burden. Their deep well of compassion, their intuitive understanding of others' emotions, these are the very things that draw people to them, that make them such incredible friends, partners and confidants. But this sensitivity, this profound capacity for empathy, can also become a double-edged sword. Their innate tendency to focus on the needs and emotions of those around them can transform into a habitual mindset, leading them to neglect their own well-being. But what happens when these sensitive souls decide to shift their focus inward, stepping onto a path of self-prioritization? Let's talk about boredom, that feeling of restlessness, that sense of emptiness that many of us try so hard to avoid. We fill our schedules, our minds, our lives with distractions, with noise, with anything to keep that quiet whisper of boredom at bay. But what if I told you that for the INFJ, boredom can be an unexpected gift, a catalyst for profound transformation. When we allow ourselves to be bored, to sit with that discomfort, something incredible happens. We create space for our own thoughts, our own desires to surface. We begin to hear our own inner voice again, that voice that may have been drowned out by the needs and expectations of others. In the stillness of boredom, in that quiet space between doing and being, we have the opportunity to reconnect with ourselves. We begin to remember who we are, what we love, what brings us joy. Boredom can be uncomfortable, especially for those of us who are used to being constantly on the go. But I invite you to lean into that discomfort, to embrace it as a necessary step on the path to self-discovery. Because it's in those moments of quiet reflection that we begin to understand ourselves on a deeper level. And with that understanding comes the opportunity for change, the opportunity to create a life that is more aligned with our values, our passions, our authentic selves. So, if you're an INFJ, or if you simply find yourself feeling drained and depleted, I encourage you to embrace the unexpected gift of boredom. We often associate appreciation with grand gestures, with public displays of affection, with tangible rewards. But what about the quiet internal practice of appreciation? The kind that takes root in the stillness of our own hearts. The kind that allows us to recognize and celebrate our own worthiness. For the INFJ, who often shines their light so brightly on others, cultivating this internal appreciation can be profoundly transformative. It's about shifting the focus inward, acknowledging the unique experiences, the quiet triumphs, the small acts of courage that have shaped us into the individuals we are today. Imagine for a moment, sitting down with a warm cup of tea, a soft blanket draped over your shoulders, and simply reflecting on your life. Not with a critical eye, picking apart your flaws or dwelling on past mistakes, but with a sense of gentle curiosity, a willingness to acknowledge the beauty of your own journey. Think about the challenges you've overcome, the times you've surprised yourself with your own resilience, the moments when you've shown up authentically, even when it was scary. These are the moments worth celebrating, the moments that deserve our attention and gratitude. True appreciation isn't about inflating our egos or comparing ourselves to others. It's about recognizing the inherent worthiness that exists within each and every one of us. And when we can truly appreciate ourselves, we begin to show up in the world with a newfound sense of confidence and self-assurance. This practice of self-appreciation isn't about becoming self-absorbed or narcissistic. It's about cultivating a deep and abiding sense of self-love, the kind that allows us to set healthy boundaries, to prioritize our own needs and to show up fully in our relationships. So, I encourage you to carve out some time for yourself today, even if it's just for a few minutes. Picture this, a cup, beautiful and ornate, representing your energy, your capacity to engage with the world. As INFJs, this cup often overflows with empathy, with a desire to heal, to support, 
to nurture those around you. You pour yourselves into your relationships, your work, your passions, leaving little left for yourselves. It's a beautiful thing, this boundless capacity for love and care, but it can also lead to depletion, to a sense of emptiness, of being utterly spent. Reclaiming your energy, refilling your cup, is not selfish, it's essential. It's about recognizing that you cannot pour from an empty cup. You cannot give what you do not have. Self-prioritization in this context becomes an act of radical self-care. It's about setting boundaries, learning to say no, not from a place of resentment, but from a place of love, a deep and abiding love for yourself. Think about the things that energize you, the activities that make your soul sing. It could be spending time in nature, losing yourself in a good book, indulging in a creative pursuit, or simply enjoying a quiet evening at home. These are not indulgences, my friends. These are necessities. They are the lifeblood of your well-being, the fuel that allows you to show up as the best version of yourself, both for yourself and for the world around you. Remember, you are worthy of love and care, and that includes the love and care you give to yourself. INFJs are often lauded for their vivid imaginations, their ability to envision a brighter future, a more just world. But sometimes, these dreams can feel like distant stars, beautiful to behold, but impossibly far away. The gap between vision and reality can feel vast, leaving you feeling overwhelmed, uncertain of where to even begin. This is where action, even in its smallest form, becomes the bridge between the world within and the world you wish to create. It's about breaking down those grand visions into manageable steps, into concrete actions that you can take today, right now, to move closer to your goals. It doesn't have to be a giant leap, a monumental effort. Start with something small, something achievable. Maybe it's finally signing up for that pottery class you've been eyeing, or writing the first page of that novel that's been swirling in your head. Perhaps it's reaching out to someone you admire, seeking mentorship, or simply a connection with a kindred spirit. The point is to take action, to shift from the realm of dreaming to the realm of doing, one step at a time. Each step, no matter how small, is a victory. It's a testament to your commitment, your willingness to show up for yourself, to honor your dreams. And as you take one step, then another, and another, you'll start to notice something incredible happening. Momentum builds, confidence grows, the impossible starts to feel within reach. Imagine a life where your energy is no longer depleted, but a source of constant renewal. A life where you wake up each morning feeling excited, invigorated, ready to embrace the day with open arms. This is the transformative power of self-prioritization the unbridled joy of a life awakened. It's not about achieving some mythical state of perfect happiness, but about cultivating a deep and abiding sense of contentment, of fulfillment, of knowing that you are living in alignment with your values, your passions, your most authentic self. This joy is not something that happens to you. It's something you cultivate from within. It's the natural byproduct of living a life that is true to yourself, a life where you honor your needs, your desires, your dreams. It's about creating a life that feels spacious and expansive. A life where you have the energy and the enthusiasm to pursue the things that light you up, that make your heart sing. Think about the things that bring you joy, the activities that make you lose track of time, that fill you with a sense of wonder and delight. It could be spending time in nature, connecting with loved ones, expressing yourself creatively, or simply savoring the small moments of beauty that surround you each day. Make these things a priority in your life. Schedule them into your week, just like you would any other important appointment. Because they are important. Your well-being is important. Your joy is important. And as you begin to prioritize these things, as you start to fill your cup with activities that nourish your soul, you'll notice a shift taking place within you. You'll find yourself feeling more energized, more alive, more present in each moment. 
in navigating the terrain of self-prioritization, INFJs may encounter challenges, but also profound rewards. The initial discomfort of boredom, the vulnerability of self-appreciation, the discipline of reclaiming their energy, all contribute to a remarkable metamorphosis. They evolve, not just in energy and appreciation, but flourish into fuller versions of themselves. This journey speaks to universal themes of growth, self-love, and the transformative power of prioritizing one's happiness. Embrace the depth of your potential and craft a life that vibrates with authenticity and fulfillment.